uh, clip number one is titled Carl is gay. <laughs> this is really getting around. Oh. Wait, is this my show? <laughs> yes. Oh. Everyone is noticing. Congratulations, Carl. We more than doubled our Patreon numbers. Nice. Okay. We more than doubled since I started bitching about it. And I only started bitching about it, and it wasn't a meltdown, first of all. It wasn't uh, a meltdown. It was, it was simply meltdown. this curiosity as to why I'm utilized so much within that universe, and yet I get nothing for it. That's all it was. Mm -hmm. It just seemed weird that the guy who constantly talks about me, like I'm his fucking gay lover or some <laughs> shit, would Whoa! somehow make it monetarily beneficial. Now, first off, Patty... I don't talk about my gay lover because then everyone would know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what do you mean I talk about like my gay lover? I keep that shit on the DL, buddy. Monetarily beneficial to me, right? Because you use me so fucking much. I'm in your mouth more often than fucking any other dude. Oh, <laughs> so, I'm supposed to. Just... So many jokes there. I was like, what's he? <laughs> what's he gonna say? I'm in your mouth more than. Ah, ah, damn it! Come on, Patty. That was an easy one. All right, let's. Hope it maybe I'll, I'll rewind it. Maybe I'll do a better job this time. <laughs> Mouth more often than fucking any other dude, and I'm supposed to just be cool. Be cool. Seventy bucks a month. That's cool. That'll be fine. That's livable. Fucking morons. And then that's gonna that's gonna keep striving me to do more, right? Yeah, I'm gonna keep on doing more for that measly little fucking uh, one month payment. Get the fuck out of Since here. Since when does the guy who's bullying the nerd have to give the nerd money? No, no, no. We <laughs> shake you upside down and take your lunch money, dummy. <laughs> why, why am I giving you money? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Have you ever seen a, an yeah. 80s uh, show, an 80s movie about high school? But Carl, if you were a bully and you stole money from a nerd and then you invested that money... Uh, in a lottery ticket and won millions of dollars, <laughs> you might owe the nerd some money. Nope. <laughs> Not in my world. Okay. <laughs> All right. I see your point, Cardiff. All right. Uh, two millions? Key? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good point. It's not millions. <laughs> All right. Uh, next clip. Was that the end of the clip? That was. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Next clip is called uh, Carl's Bad Company. No. Oh. I mean, the guy constantly associates himself with the fucking, you know, degenerates from all over the internet. Okay. Even if they're not Potato. podcasters, just general degenerate, degenerate people are the ones that he associates himself with and continues to. So what what benefit <laughs> would that give me by being on a show? Fuck you. Still. Because he somehow convinced his fucking troglodyte fans that they're somehow better than me. L why don't you look at yourself in the mirror? Or do you avoid those? Do you avoid them like Carl does? I would, I would too if I was part of that fucking little group. Who's going to be the next Matt Lewinsky? That's all I'm asking. Could it be you? If there hasn't been one already. <laughs> it's going to be the guy that pees on, you know, pees on people's shit. <laughs> or the guy that tries to... Go across state lines with fucking synthetic marijuana. What's it gonna be, dude? You associate what? yourself with the fucking weakest links. It's embarrassing. Wait, he's connecting me with Tony Michaels. Does he yeah, think the Le he, he thinks the Legion of Dabblers are your friends. Yeah, yes. I know. <laughs> Michael Sosnowski and I are, are not hanging out together. I promise you that. You don't go and meet at the Hall of Weirdos and discuss your plan as the Legion of Dabblers, what you're going to cover for the week? Not every week. Yeah, I mean, we show up every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes okay. I want to get an update on things. I don't know what... I, I know he's made these points before, but I still don't even know what point he's trying to make. Yeah. I'm confused with what no. he's even... What does he say? What does he communicate to me? He's angry. Oh, okay. He's angry. Patty meltdown. Why? <laughs> Why is he angry? He just doubled his Patreon. Right. And we don't, right, talk, but we don't talk about him that much, honestly. But anyway. He's saying, everyone is saying to him, you should go on that show. But he's saying, what is the point of me going on the show if they talk about me every week and I don't see any of my numbers rising? But his numbers are rising. He well, just said not that. enough, I guess. <laughs> not I enough. Know, but okay, not fair, enough. fair enough. Okay. He I'm wants gonna a lot of money. Tuki, I'm going to put it out there right now. For all the people that we goof on, I can only double your Patreon. All right? That's as good as I can do. I can't do more than doubling your Patreon. So if you come in with 15 people on your Patreon, expect 30 when we're done with you. That's all I can do. Ooh. 
Not you, Tukey. Fantastic. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Or have your that. life ruined and be driven off the internet. <laughs> Those are the two options. Yeah. <laughs> Check one. <laughs> All right. What's up next, Tuggy? All right. Uh, clip number three is Patty ain't a dabbler. Okay. You know, if that means that I'm some sort of dabbler and I've already cleared this up, I don't fit into that category whatsoever. ever. None of those guys. I'm not like any of them. Not like any of them. And I also had no idea who any of them were. Well, then For you the are like that. For the longest time, the only person I had ever heard of was Stuttering John. And that's because somebody mentioned on his pod mentioned me during a live chat. Hold on a second. He definitely knows Opie from Opie and Anthony. He talks about it all the time, so he's lying. Of one of his episodes. That's it. Because I got spies, too. I got people that infiltrate your little group. Oh, uh, the team Tell again. Me things. Um, I don't care. Um, right? <laughs> Because that's, that's what everybody wants. They want some sort of exclusive. They want to embarrass you. Uh-oh, Tukey, are you the spy? Do you have something you want to say right now? Yeah, real You got real squirrely <laughs> during that part. Hello. I got I to mention. Everything is fine. Your facial no. expression changed during that, I can tell. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's a puppet. <laughs> you are a puppet. Uh Whoa! You're Patty's puppet. Patrick, they're on to us. Patty C cups are on to us. <laughs> abort, abort. Pulling the ripcord. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> All right. So Patty's got spies. Okay, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. Hey, everyone in the Discord, stop talking shit about Patrick yeah, Michael. They're spies. They're spies among us. We'll get we'll get caught. It's a trap. All right, keep going, Tuki. This is your segment. All right, uh, Patty C. Cubs, clip number four. Patty is the talent. Like, I started the whole live thing because of the MLC chat and how funny that was. So I started a live thing where the chat is basically the show. But let's not forget, I'm still the host. <laughs> I'm still the talent. Oh, no. You might be participating and typing words, but let's be honest, they could easily go unnoticed by me not saying anything about them, right? You exist if I allow you to. That's it. <laughs> it's the same amount of power that Carl always wanted. Yeah. He's got 8 to 12 people watching him on any of these given live streams. Imagine if he was successful. Yeah. What a tyrant he would become. He's already braggadocious that there's 8 people and he ignores one of them. He would be exactly like Stuttering John. Yes. No, he just said he's nothing like those people. Yeah, you well, didn't hear he him? hasn't had. <laughs> you didn't hear this? The, uh, the guy with no self-awareness explained he's not like the other little cows that we goof on. <laughs> you know he couldn't handle any success. Oh, no. He seems to know it in a weird way. He does. He does, because as soon as any show gets popular, he yeah. abandons it. So he definitely cannot handle that. Although, I think he's, I think he's growing into it. Now that he's doing the live stream and stuff, he's still not putting his face on camera, but it seems like he's starting to grow into this, and he's starting to embrace it a little bit. There is some notoriety there. He's more popular than most podcasters. So by the time he's 60. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> we'll still be going. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he figures it out. All right. Uh, next clip, number five, Patty and Carl forever. I don't want to argue the, the point of not caring anymore because <laughs> I idea. just, I really don't. <laughs> I have, I, I could stop doing this shit tomorrow and it'd be fine, dude. Uh -huh. It'd be fine. This does become a job. It becomes a thing where you're like, all right, I got to fucking, what do I got to get out this week? Yeah, what? And then you get this shit. <laughs> where I just try to ramble for the beginning. But it is true, and I have no real quarrels with any. Hold on a second. Most people know not to ramble. He has to try to ramble. <laughs> so he goes, you know, it starts to become a job. So what I do is I don't take it seriously at all, and I'm right. shitty at it. Like, well, <laughs> just like the job jobs I have. Yeah, just like Arby's. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. But it is true, and I have no real quarrels with anybody. Or real core. jobs. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't care about none of this. The fact that you brought me up was your fault. You know, the fact that you wanted fault. to make me an enemy, that's your fault. Mm -hmm. You know, I could be a real fucking you cool guy. You could have been best friend. Pretty easily. <laughs> pretty chill dude. Oh you know, God. very much low five vibes if you oh can't Oh, my God. Tell. Everyone wants to be my friend now. Why do you hurt everyone who loves you, Carl? <laughs> He's the Hebert. Tukey, don't get too close. <laughs> don't get too close. It's going to end badly for you, too, my friend. Oh, you're going to hurt Tukey. <laughs> I, yes. I can never hurt Tukey. 
<laughs> Is that the end of that clip? Yes. <laughs> okay, Patty C, number six, Carl's gay again. Yay! Okay. <laughs> but when somebody who I can clearly look in the eyes and tell they're not very masculine, no. right? Like they don't have a backbone. What are we doing with our lives? <laughs> I'll, I'll fight back. I'll take you down. We can play that game. We'll go round and round, round and round, round and round. And then eventually you'll succumb and realize that, oh, he was better than I thought. <laughs> You're fucking me and fighting me. I love that Curtis, Curtis spent his morning talking to Opie and Doggy. Yeah. And now he's acting like he's above all of this. No, that we're, I'm, I'm, that we're laughing so hard at this puppet. And I'm a potato. What is this? I don't know. This is definitely, this show is devolved and I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> Patty looks in your eyes, Carl, and can tell that you love wieners in your butt. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get that a lot. I get that at the gym, too. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. It wasn't a, All right. It's great now that he actually watches my show, knows who I mm -hmm. am, understands what's going on. Because th these takes are a lot better than... I don't even know what that guy sounds like. Yeah, I've never that, heard that his got voice. Old. That, got that got stupid. Now that he's calling me gay, <laughs> now I'm having some fun with it. And I don't even know if he knows that you have a green pool table. Ooh, <laughs> good point, Tuki. Jeez. Yeah, John might tell him that would be bad. Good point. Uh, all right, clip, good point, clip number, Tuki. <laughs> clip number seven. Patty doesn't care, you morons. Oh, okay. Because think about this, too, guys. If I was so wrapped up in this fucking stupid little circle that all you guys play around in, wouldn't I be doing this more often? Like, wouldn't I be doing a podcast episode every day? I don't know. Wouldn't I be going live I every do. day? <laughs> yeah, you kind of do. Least more does. than once a day, multiple times, <laughs> oh, no. putting out several different episodes. <laughs> I usually do about a half hour podcast as it is. So that in itself should click in your tiny little brains. Hey, he doesn't even care. Yeah. What? <laughs> no. What? Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. He said the same thing. What? Yeah, he didn't know how he was going to finish that this sentence. This is just some dumb shit to do to put my fucking thoughts out there for someone. I thought it was for your legacy. And if you stumbled across it and you're like, oh, this, I fucking hate this guy. Then it wasn't you. Then it wasn't you. And also, you must have been homeschooled. <laughs> What's wrong with being homeschooled? A lot of very intelligent oh. people are homeschooled. Yeah, I would have preferred it. <laughs> yeah, right. Clip. No, some there's there's some there's some hurt there with homeschooling. Oh, yeah. Something about homeschooling hurt him. Interesting. So we've heard all of this before. This is, I mean, more bonkers than normal mm -hmm. to say. I obviously don't care because I'm not even live streaming every day. Oh shit, I am. I'm not even live streaming multiple times per day because that's how you would know if I care. Is if I did this like three or four times a day instead right. of just the one time. Or if I got better at it. Yeah, and I like that he goes, my episodes are only 30 minutes long, so obviously I don't care. Yeah. He got us. <laughs> yes, oh. I'm glad you noticed that he did correct himself when yeah. he was saying, oh, yeah, oh, I would do it every, oh, wait, I do do it every day. <laughs> oh, well, then I would do it multiple times a day. Fantastic. <laughs> you got me there, uh, clip number, Patrick. Clip number eight, Patty is great at everything he does. But I guess this all just comes back to my general cockiness. You know, that's what even family members would label it. I'm cocky. And so be it. Yeah, take, take it however you want, man. You can't hold a job. What are you cocky I'm not going to shove it down your throat. I'm just... Your cockiness? <laughs> I am the trailer park. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the things that I'm not good at, I'm not attempting. The things uh. that I'm not okay at, I'm not attempting. What? When's the last time you heard me put out a freestyle rap song? Okay? I know where I belong. That's the I know strangest what I argument. The I thought those were good. Yeah. So but freestyle rap years, is the one thing he can't, can't do. That's just... Rewrite what has already been said. I can't figure this guy out, man. This is why he's so funny. He's so fascinating. Talking about Grady's and everything, how cocky he is about it. Meanwhile, he's bitching that... He only has 45 people on Patreon. He's not making enough money. Why are you even watching me? If you don't like me, go away. <laughs> He's incredible. 
So that was pretty much the end of the uh, Carl section. It was the first part of the whole episode. And then he went on to Tom Myers. Oh, so clip, clip number t- uh, nine is titled Tom Myers, Great Comedian. I wonder how he knows about Tom Myers. That's interesting. What are the chances? Huh? Who, so I got, I got who doesn't educated. know about Tom Myers? I educate. Well, I don't know if you know this, Cardiff, but in our little world, Tom Myers is a big deal. He still can only mm-hmm. sell about three tickets to a, a comedy show wherever he goes. He's not a famous oh. person. Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not a famous comic <laughs> at all. And, then, and I'm not saying, I'm not taking credit for it. Come down and introduce me to Tom Myers. Mm-hmm. So obviously Nick Mellon and friends are the reason why anyone knows about Tom Myers. But uh, but still, it's he's not a big deal. So I got, I got educated. I educated myself on old Tom Myers and... G Rob says, I think he secretly cares. <laughs> Good observation, G Rob. So I got I got educated. I educated myself on old Tom Myers and you know, I agree. I agree with a lot of the stuff that I, I have heard. Mm-hmm. But what I agree with most is Tom Myers. Okay? <laughs> the fucking guy's good. Right? <laughs> He's got perfect joke structure he's uh, he's crazy enough looking that it, it makes you want to stare at him and see what he's gonna do like eventually is he gonna swallow a sword you know is he gonna you know spontaneously combust on stage i don't know truth be told he looks like a kid that used to bully me in fourth grade and that kid looked bald? like he had been through a fire. There were bald n- kids in fourth grade yeah. <laughs> and of all the, like he's of all 80. The- of all the carny acts, Tom Myers looks like it's a sword swallower. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing. Like, where'd he come up with that one? And that kid looked like he had been through a fire. And there's nothing more intimidating than being, you know, uh, bullied by a kid who has, who might have survived a fire. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, it's no different than you know, a police officer running to the scene of a crime or a firefighter running into a burning building. It's what I do. <laughs> So that's how he lost his hair. Yes. <laughs> the damn fire. Wow. All right, that clip clip number 10 is Patty runs out of steam. Okay. Can I just get your take? Because I'm hearing this in the context that I'm hearing it in. Is he goofing on Tom Meyer saying that he has perfect joke structure and stuff? Let us keep going, Carl. Okay, Don't all right. ruin it for everybody. Fair enough, Tukey. <laughs> He's bad. playing 4D chess okay. while you're playing dictionary. <laughs> But everybody came around recommending this Tom Myers guy as if I was going to watch it and be like, holy shit, this guy's a big, dumb idiot. And, you know, this is one of the few times where you're like, yeah, he's doing just fine. He's doing just fine. Right? Didn't he open for some big people? Hasn't he? I mean, he did roast battle against Robbie Goodwin, dude. And if there's anybody you don't want to roast battle against, it's Robbie Goodwin because he's such a good. Ooh. Guy, <laughs> he's such a nice good guy. guy. <laughs> Just a really nice guy, dude. What the fuck is he's happening really right nice now? Guy. What point is he trying to make? He doesn't know. Is he okay. To, he's just saying he's on to uh, us. He's man. trying to convince me that Tom Myers is a real comic that we should respect. Is that what he's doing? Apparently. Well, play clip eleven. I won't even tell you the title. Of course, I'm joking about all this. Tom Myers fucking sucks. And I think it'd be funny if you guys clip the part where I said he's fantastic. Send this around the internet. Let them know that I love Tom Myers, and I think he deserves to be bigger than he is currently. I mean, after Fall 20 years, you trap. should be huge. Yep. Right? That's how long it's taken Bill Burr and all these guys. 20 years, you finally figure out how to hone your craft. All right, uh, Patty. For that one, I'm going to give you a... Yeah. Good job, buddy. You tricked us. Yes, mm-hmm. and there is one more clip. Uh, Patty talks about being a roast comedian and how easy it is. He could even roast a fish. <laughs> <laughs> you can also bake, fry. <laughs> and that's my point about roasting. Like, be specific. It is the easiest way into comedy. I'm a roast comic. So you just talk shit about a guy standing in front of you. Or Mexicans. <laughs> Seems easy enough, because then you can just you're just making it up. <laughs> like if somebody told you to make fun of a fucking fish, and the fish was right in front of you, uh, you don't know that fish. Does it have you don't eyebrows? Know his history, <laughs> but you could roast the shit out of him. He wouldn't know what the fuck is coming, other than no water, and certainly not free water. 
Jesus. But you see this and you're like, dude, how? <laughs> I don't know. Holy shit. I, gotta, I don't know what to make of that. I'm exhausted. He goes, it's, it's really easy to make roast jokes. All I got to do is make it up. That's the hard part, <laughs> dummy. <Right>? Yeah. <laughs> On the spot. Well, first he said, be honest. First he said, you just have to look at someone and be honest. Right. And then he said, just make it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over the place. I feel like he doesn't have good points to make. No. what it seems like to me. Who are these podcasts?